Rasty McGibbon with Tess Macaro from Adrian University, Women's Division One. Tess, thanks for coming on. Thank you very much. Uh, you guys just uh, getting through a 5-3 win uh, over Indiana Tech. Talk to me a little bit about that big win for you girls. It was huge, honestly. Um, we've kind of been back to back with them all year long. So for us to win this, it was a big accomplishment for us, big battle. Um, we're all really excited. Two down, two more to go for us. So it's pretty yeah, good. and you know, I know with about um, five minutes to go there in the third period, it was a tie game at three-three. Just walk me through the last five minutes. Honestly, energy was high, a um, bit of nerves, but our team kept very composed. We just had to play our game, and we ended up winning, and it was great. Our team battled through it, and here we are. You know, the uh, Women's Division One format, uh, you, you are, um, you know, there is the opportunity for redemption if you were to lose in the first game. In your case, you didn't. Um, talk to me a little bit about momentum that you're able to generate in the first game and just uh, play, you know, play on today in, in your win. Yeah, so our first game, it was huge, big win. Got the day off, got to rest, got to recoup a little bit, got to just calm our minds a little bit and we came into this nice and strong ready to go you know so one of the one of the perennials in in, in women's one is uh has got to be liberty um you know in in their uh i, I think one thing in their schedule uh, has demonstrated that they are you know maybe a little bit vulnerable do you, do you think that your team with the confidence that you've generated here at the national tournament has what it takes to potentially dethrone them yeah, so it, it's honestly anybody's game right now. Um, but again, we're really pushing through. We're working hard, and I think we're ready. I think we're ready to be up there and get that trophy. You talked to me just briefly before we came on that you do have a core of ladies that uh, were in St. Louis last year, have some experience at that national level. How important is that message to the new girls coming into your program You know, to focus and motivate them in the direction of nationals at the end of the year? Whew. Well, just for us having our own experience, we were able to kind of prepare them, get get their feet going, and really try and motivate them to, this is it, this is the end all be all, we have to work hard, we have to be here, we have to be present. And having that extra support from our seniors, our upperclassmen, and even our sophomore coming in, and our transfers even, honestly. Yeah. Um, just everybody coming in as a collective is very, very important for us. Now yourself, you were in St. Louis. Yep. You're uh, here in uh, Boston, Marlboro this year. The new girls to your team, what would they say about this national experience? Eight ranks, 70 something teams, 130 something games over the course of a week. What, what, what sort of comments are they making about their national experience? They're excited. Honestly, um, a lot of nerves. It's, it's nerve wracking. It's a kind of go head to head with a lot of teams throughout the season. So we know what we're coming into, but they love it. It's amazing. It's a great experience and everybody's energy is so high and it's it's great. Great to be here with the team. I was down uh, just as you girls were coming off the ice just after that win there. And uh, it was neat to see the men's team uh, there, you know, just, just, uh, just off the ice uh, cheering you on as you came off. Tell me about the relationship, you know, between women's and men's. Our men's team is such a huge support for us. Um, I would say their team, our team, there's so many teams at Adrian College, we're just a giant family and it's so, so lovely to see them here supporting us and we will do the exact same thing throughout their entire tournament. Now you are uh, originally from Ontario uh, and you told me you played uh, some high school hockey. I did. Um, you know, and one, one thing that I'm hearing from, from other Canadians uh, as, as I'm here is, you know, there are, there are not a lot of prospects for, especially, you know, Canadian um, women players after high school. What, what sort of void do you feel that the ACHA really is the puzzle piece that fits right in there and gives ladies the opportunity to play post high school? Yeah, they're, they're just so welcoming. Um, it definitely is a, a push to find a new hockey community and team and for them to open up and come to Canada, come and communicate with us either over the phone or in person. It was huge, especially for me. Um, when I was getting recruited, again, it was COVID. It was very tough time, but for them to really push themselves and get out there for us, it was really, really well, it was well done. How, how do you interpret or view 
the opportunity to um, go to university, but at the same time play competitive hockey. It's amazing, absolutely amazing. I don't know what I would do without it. It keeps me so on track, time management's huge, but I don't think I could do it after. If, 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 if I would have met you at a coffee shop in grade 10 and said, hey, I got a crystal ball, I just put a new battery in it, and I think that you're gonna play hockey in university, what would you have said to me? I would have, I'd be crazy for it. I, I'm so happy that I get this opportunity. It is incredible and I live for it every day. Do you think that that's the same for every girl on your team? I believe it. Yeah. I believe each one of my teammates is so content where they are. They are so happy to be here. We're so blessed and so honored that we get to play hockey, be with a group of girls, a great group of girls especially, every single day, get our education, come to the rink, get to bond on and off the ice, and they love it. I love it. I'm very proud of every single one of them. Just, just in closing, tell me about the level of support that you get from the school, because it's got to be huge. It is. Yeah. And like I said earlier, Adrian College is such a welcoming family for me and I love it. I don't think I would want to be anywhere else and they're like our guys team is here. They're here supporting us. Our women's team's here supporting us as well. People are watching at home and it's it's great. Anyone that you'd want to say hello to back in Ontario that's watching? I'd like to say hi to the rest of my family. My grandparents, I know they wish they could be here. My older sister who is grinding away at her new job. I miss her so much, but for the people who did get to be here and make it, the rest yeah. of my family, thank you so much for being here. And Good. Hits me in the no, that's good. No, that's good. No, that's good. That's good. You know, no, fam family's super important, you yes. know, and, and the support to get you here is super important. Yeah. Well, Tess, thanks for your time. Congratulations on a big win. Thank you very much. Uh, and best of luck down the pipe in, uh, in your next two games. Thank you. Appreciate this is Tess Macaro, Adrian Women's Division One.